Hello you guys, this is Herpy Derpy, and today I have an RU match against a good friend of mine, uh, Jedi Mono895 aka AJ, and he's a guy I do sock talk with and stuff like that, and we both wanted a quick RU match because we wanted to test out a few new guys, so yep, we both have um, some pokes that we just kind of brought along with us, and I, I do have the team preview for this, so uh, as you can see, I did bring a victory bell with me, which is pretty cool. And I am also using uh, a Choice Banded Swallow set that Yellow Swallow recently just shared. So I'm going to try that out. Um, and But although it didn't get too much, didn't really do that much this game. Spoiler alert. And and uh, I'm looking at uh, AJ's team right now. And um, that Clefable really does worry me. Because I know what my Clefable can do. So I'm really worried about what his, what his Clefable set is. So yeah. I really wasn't sure what to start off with, so I thought Aggron might be my best bet because I know Aggron can do a huge chunk of damage since it's choice banded. So, yeah, he's gonna decide to lead off with his Clefair uh, no, not his Clefair, it's his, his Water Buffalo, his Bufflin. So, I'm gonna switch out into my Gligar because I know I don't want my uh, Aggron to take an Earthquake, and he does need to go for Earthquake, so he's gonna switch into his Clefable. I thought I knew he was going to switch, but I wasn't sure if he was going to switch into Clefable, otherwise I would have gone for Stealth Rocks, because now I see he has Constant Power, and I'm like, oh my god, he is not using my set, but name the Clove, who isn't he? So I'm going to switch into my Aggron, and he's actually going to switch out Unus Clefergus, uh, because he doesn't want to take a, uh, he, hasn't, he wasn't sure what I was going to do. So um, I'm going to switch uh, out again into my Slow King, predicting like a Will-O-Wisp or something like that, but, and he does go for it, but it misses. So it just, which is fine, I mean, it's not that big of a deal, it's a slow king. So, um, I, now I'm gonna switch out again into my Aggron, while he switches out into his Gardevoir, and, uh, now he's gonna switch out again, go back into his Clefairgus, because he knows his Clefairgus can wall me. And I'm gonna go for Head Smash, it does a huge chunk to his Clefairgus, but now I have the Mummy ability, which is a little bit unfortunate, but not, like, that devastating, because now I'm gonna take some recoil damage from Head Smash, but it's not like that big of a deal, to be honest. So he's gonna switch back out into Water Buffalo, and here I'm gonna go switch into my Slow King, uh, but actually, like, I'm not sure if it predicted this, but he went for a Mega Horn, and I was like, oh wow, this sucks. So I might as well just fodder Slow King, because uh, I do want a safe switch uh, into my Jinx, because I know I can scare off his Water Buffalo, uh, and just in case he switches in the Clefable, like right here, I know I can do an okay amount of damage with Ice Beam. So, um, now I'm gonna switch out into my Victory Bell, because I thought I might go for a Cosmic Power, but he actually goes for a straight for a Facade, and just does a really nice chunk to my Vic Victory Bell, and it looks like a clean 2-hit KO. So, I'm gonna switch out into my Angra now, to take the Facade, and revenge, possibly Revenge Kill the Clefable, but he switches out into his Gardevoir, maybe predicting that. So here, I'm kinda scared, because I'm not sure what his Gardevoir wants to do, but it actually goes for Will-O-Wisp, and I'm like, oh my god, this sucks. So now my Aragorn is basically useless, because now he's burned. So I thought he might switch into his Omastar to take a head smash, so that's why he went for an Earthquake, but it didn't really work out in my favor. So uh, now he's going to switch out into his Murkrow, and I'm going to switch out into my Swellow, I believe, because I thought he might go for a second Will-O-Wisp because he knew I was going to switch out. So now he goes for a U-turn, and I'm going to... No, no, he goes for Mean Luck, I mean. I'm going to go for a U-turn, I'm going to switch right back out into my Jinx. So his Mean Luck was useless. So now he's going to go for a sub, and I'm going to go for an Ice Beam, which is really nice, because now I'm going to break his sub, and now he's at a tough spot. So he's going to switch out, go back into his Clefable to take the Ice Beam. Takes it, like, oh, decently, I guess. So now I'm going to go for another Ice Beam, uh, and it almost kills him, but then he goes for a Soft Boil, and I'm like, oh man, this sucks. So I'm going to go for a second Ice Beam. It does a little, like, about the same amount. Now he's going to go for Cosmic Power. So here, he doesn't want to risk um, staying in to die to an Ice Beam, because he's not sure if he can live after plus one. I'm pretty sure it would have, but he decided to switch out. I mean, but if he thought that I, he would have died, he should, probably should have gone for Soft Boiled. I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to go for two Ice Beams. It's going to two it KO his Gardevoir, which is nice. And now he's going to switch into his Omastar. And I do carry the Lovely Kiss, which is really convenient for situations like this. Because it really shuts down Shell Smashers like Omastar. So I'm going to go for Lovely Kiss on his Omastar. So now he's asleep. And now I'm not sure if he wanted to switch out into his Clefable or anything like that. So I'm going to go for an Ice Beam. But... Uh, he doesn't switch out, he just stays in, and I'm now, I'm just gonna go for Psychic, kill off his Omastar, which is really nice. So, here he's gonna switch into his Murkrow, which just dies to Stealth Rock, so that sucks for him, and now he's gonna switch into his Water Buffalo, and I do carry the counter, and I'm gonna go to my Focus Sash, and... 
counter punch and i'm gonna counter and just just do massive damage to this buffalo and just kill him so man this jinx is actually working really well i can't believe the set is finally working and now i'm gonna go for an ice beam just finish off the fable so yeah yeah like i said before swallow didn't really get to do much I really was trying to get a Will-O-Wisp on the Swallow or then just go straight for Facades, which just would have been so epic, but, you know, like, I don't know, that'll be for another battle, and, yeah, and I did, I really didn't get to use my Victory Bell either, which is a bit unfortunate, because that Victory Bell set was something I really wanted to try out, so, you'll probably see that in the next video, and, yeah, hope you enjoyed this battle, no, it was a little bit of a quick battle, but, you know, I don't have, I'm, like I said in the last video, I'm, like, I'm not exactly at home right now so yeah i don't have exactly you know the best battles to work with but hope you enjoyed it nevertheless uh have a great day and i'll see you guys